Hey guys, and welcome to Hustle Mod. We're here with Georgina Chatteris. And Georgina is actually, she's actually been a massive inspiration in my life. Before, I don't know if anybody knows this, but at one point in my life, before I actually became semi-successful in business, I was an electrician. And I needed to do something about it. I needed to make a change and I needed to make a move. Um, but I didn't have the balls. And then I realized I was good friends with Georgina for about two or three years before I really did this. But I eventually just packed all the bags, in the, uh, packed all my bags in the back of my car and I drove to Sydney 1500 k's away from where I lived and I just decided to live there and it was all a massive inspiration from Georgina because she did this. It was a huge part of me. So Georgina's an actress, a dancer, a singer, just an overall powerhouse of a woman and I really wanted to bring her on today. So I'm gonna let Georgina pretty much jump into it, tell you about who she is and what she does. And I'm gonna let her as well tell you about what she wants to talk about today. Thank you so much for that introduction. Um, yeah, well basically when I was 19, I moved from Perth to Melbourne. And the decision was because I trained as a performing artist full time. Uh, you know, I grew up in a very musical family. Uh, I lived in a circus for about four years and um, I realized that performing was really what I wanted to do. So at 19, yeah, I just decided to move to Melbourne and pursue that career. And when I got to Melbourne, I realized it wasn't as simple as just getting right into the industry. Um, I had to basically network very hard. I had to um, go to more classes. I had to consistently grow. <laughs> I had to the worst part about that, and I thought the camera got it, was the picture was upside down. <laughs> um, we always get one of these like blunders in, in our videos, like somebody will come up and just do something. <laughs> it's crazy attention. Um, oh my god, the sun's come out. Beautiful. Yeah, so basically, um, I mean, one of the biggest things Jason actually asked me today, we'd love you to have, love to have you on hustle mode and to share a little something. And I said, I'd really love to talk about not letting the ego get in the way. And I believe that it's really important to have a certain level of ego slash confidence because that's when you know that what you have to offer is good. It, it means that basically you believe in yourself. You know that you're good enough to do what you want to do. And for a female audience, who's a good example of that? Ooh. Who is, I mean, I would go Beyonce? ahead and just say Beyonce. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. instantly. Christina Aguilera, um, Oprah, Just obviously. women that just own their shit, right? They, Even Michelle they have Obama. A slight, yeah. yeah, they have a slight ego to them, right? It's never, it's never too egotistical, but it's like, I know, I know I'm what I'm shit. talking about. Yeah, absolutely. And like that's good. I mean, from male perspective, Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather, instantly, yeah. they know they are top tier number one, and they've got a little bit of ego about them, just enough to say I am the shit, but still yeah. stay humble to keep climbing, right? In saying that, you know, it's different to to a woman and a man. What kind of the way that they do it, and and as well, every single person has a different way of expressing that. Like Ed Sheeran to. Um, Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor. Yeah, Conor yeah. McGregor. There's, you know, it's, it's obviously different, different areas and, and marketing is different again. Yeah, but, but what the point of what I'm bringing this up for is because when I moved to Melbourne, I said, you know, I've got my advanced diploma in performing arts. I've been to WAPA uh, and I lived in a circus. My nan was one of the best singing teachers in Perth. You know, I don't need to go back to training. Like, 
I've kind of got this, I'll just keep maintaining my training in the meantime. And it really, really held me back for about two to three years because I let my ego block me. And this year, probably, yeah, middle of last year, I kind of realized that I need to keep working on my craft every single second. And I realized that if this is what I love to do and this is what I want to do and setting my goals and making sure, you know, that's where I'm going to go, I need to, I just need to immerse myself in it every, pretty much every, every day, like hours in a day. And when I dropped my ego and really stepped into being a student and absorbing as much training and education and knowledge, I just, I grew so much more. Not saying that the last two to three years of, you know, being in Melbourne and not training full time was a bad thing. I learned so much about myself and my life and my career and life experience, that's for sure. Mm. Life is hard. Um, <laughs> but yeah, definitely do not let your ego get in the way of what you want to do. Because if you want to be a performing artist, if you want to be in business, if you want to um, do marketing, online, programming, whatever it is, just do it. And don't let money stop you as well. Mm. Because I tell you right now, I am not wealthy. I'm definitely not wealthy, but I am doing it You're definitely every single on purpose. day. I'm definitely, absolutely, I'm on purpose. And, and I think I that's a side the tangent there where you you don't have to make money to live on purpose. Like it's not about money. It's no, about it's doing not. what makes you happy. Something you can wake up and, and then when you do it set. every single day, it's it's said so frequently. It's stuff. But I mean, does anybody actually do it? I mean, you're you're one of those people that Beebs gonna have to take a hard left here. Um, but yeah, it's said so yeah. frequently, and I think there's a lot of people that say it but aren't actually doing it. But you are one of those people that's actually doing it. You know, like okay, you don't make bank yet. I'd like to say yes. yet because I still think there's ways for you to monetize what you do, but absolutely, I do believe that you are one of those people that actually does it. And I want to, I want a quick little side tangent as well because I believe there is a point where you need to be egotistical to some degree. Because I still, I think that is why, and this is a little bit between me and you, but I, I strongly believe that's why you're not at a financial level yet because you don't have the ego enough to say I'm worth what I'm want to be worth remember that conversation we yeah. had so that's where i think the ego comes in enough it kicks in enough to say i am worth this much money i am worth Absolutely. this much money each month each year each quarter whatever the fuck you want to work and it by but yeah. you need that every now and it's then it's all the process as well like you know what you're saying um because it's amazing because i remember jason and how he was getting like two or three likes on his facebook posts and he hadn't even touched online marketing and um, and you know he was in a sticky situation with personal life and it's literally like just over a year later and he's completely different and the reason why he is is just because he immersed himself in learning online marketing in learning how to be positive and how to live life on his purpose basically and then he just pursued it and he just did it he just executed and i think well that's exactly what i'm doing as well but at the same time obviously mine's a different industry but it's all a process you know Absolutely. you're at a different stage of your stuff to me but then in saying that as well you can't compare any person's situation because it's all different you can't expect to have the life of Oprah Winfrey because that's Oprah's life. You gotta make your own. I love that path. actually, and that is that is a, a conversation for another time. Actually, I love the topic of, and we actually have that planned up at some point in Hasamadi to talk about like, do not judge your journey by someone else's. Mm. But I'm gonna wrap this that, up with a quick question, yeah. right? <laughs> if somebody was in your shoe, we try, <laughs> we try not to do this for like way too long because people get bored. Um, but if somebody was in your exact situation yep. 12 months ago, right? They was you 12 months ago. What would be the number one thing you would say to them to do to change their life right now? As in if they're in my situation right this second? No, 12 months ago. You 12 months ago. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, I'm also blonde, clearly. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, you just um, proved that 12 one. Twelve months ago, I would say, what do you want to do? What do you love doing the most? Do it. Oh, I don't have enough money. Buy the money. <laughs> Make it happen. Eat a little less. Yeah. All right, go out a little less. Literally, um, oh, I tell you what else. Don't stress about being single. Just be, <laughs> be in a relationship with yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself and the process where you're at. And just don't stress, just do what you love to do every day. Hey guys, check out the next video. And hit the subscribe button below. Now that. Conversations about constellations from up above. Pisces, mommy, I'm watching the while she puffed the blood.